We love Loveland, Colorado. We've got three engineering universities very close by. We've got a great group of staff, and whenever we recruit, people love to be here and want to come here. I'm Tim Reeser. I'm CEO of Lightning Systems. We moved into this facility over three years ago with just this first half of the first wing on this campus, about 45,000 square feet. And now in December, we've grown to over 110,000 square feet in this campus. We are the largest commercial electric vehicle production facility in the United States. We're doing both powertrain builds and production as well as conversion in this facility. We think now is an incredibly important time to accelerate our business. We have tremendous backlog over a year and a half of backlog right now. So we really felt now's the time to grow the production so that we can cut through that backlog and be able to sustain a much larger growth for next year. That growth is coming from many different places. It's coming from our customers saying they are committed to being sustainable. It's also coming from a community and the many communities worldwide who are realizing that there's a direct correlation between deaths from COVID and air quality. And that correlation is leading communities, people, and our customers to, to accelerate what they want to do in terms of making the right sustainable decisions with their fleets to take dirty diesel engines, dirty gasoline engines off the road. And that means electric vehicles and it means fuel cell electric vehicles throughout the world. So a big part of making a successful production facility is about the engineering behind it. So there's a lot of engineering that went into how do you automate some of this production? How do you automate each workstation, whether it's on the powertrain production or the conversion? How do we significantly reduce the cost and the time it takes to build a powertrain? And how do we significantly reduce the cost and time it takes to convert the vehicle? So as you look around the facility, you see we have lines that are flexible to make uh, class three, four, five, six, seven powertrains, as well as our mobile charger, all on a flexible uh, assembly lines that build the powertrains. You'll also see as you look at our conversion facility that we're converting vehicles all the way from class three vans, all the way to class eight motor coaches in the same facility. These vehicles drive far better than any gasoline or diesel vehicle our customers have experienced. They're significantly smoother, they're significantly quieter, and they really are fun to drive. We know the industry wants these products. We see the industry really taking off fast. We see our, our fleet customers start to talk about moving from 10 or 20 pilot units or 30 early stage units to hundreds or even thousands of, of units on their next orders for 2021 and 2022. We want and need to be able to support that kind of scale. And I'm excited to say we're ready. 